Hello, everyone. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Um, I did a, a ton, coded a ton. It's been great. You saw my last video uh, for DAP Hero. You probably saw uh, what I was working on. What I wanted to do in this video really quickly is just give you a better um, uh, idea of what I mean by you can make really good looking applications, DAP applications like Web3 DAPs using Webflow and DAP Hero really easily. And uh, I, I talked a little bit before about the purposes of what uh, I'm trying to do with this. Basically, I'm building um, an application on Ethereum that allows you to catalog images and I wanted a better front end. Uh, you saw maybe the video a couple weeks ago I did about Merkle Mint, which was my first sort of like foray into trying to use Webflow to build the front end to that. And then this holiday weekend, uh, I built Dap Hero, which is an attempt to try and like generalize that to really make building these front ends for the, the Web3 application I'm trying to build easier. But long story short, you saw the earlier video. If you saw it before, you probably were like, oh, cool idea, terrible code. I, I spent you know, yesterday and today really like refactoring that code. So before I was really grabbing each element kind of manually. And it was for a proof of concept, which worked actually surprisingly well. But I really went through and I cleaned up it a lot. I mean, still like terrible. Now you're probably like, oh, nice idea. Not so terrible code, but it's still pretty bad, but it's, it's way better. Uh, basically now I can sort of handle any number of elements. I haven't expanded the functionality, but uh, really sort of made it more robust, a bit less fragile, although there's still just a million things. Still totally alpha, still totally like proof of concept. Anyway, what I wanted to do in this video really quickly is show you what I mean about how DAP Hero uh, using mature design applications like Webflow can allow us to build fantastic, like beautiful Web3 applications like in, in seconds, just, just so quickly. Something that I certainly have, have not been able to do before. So what I did is, uh, if you saw the last video, you could see my design skills kind of suck. Um, so what I did is I bought a template instead, and I'm just gonna show you really quickly how easy it is to just convert a template into being a Web3 application, just like Snap. So basically we have here, um, I sort of changed a little bit of this text here. This is the Webflow window. Uh, it's really, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome when all things considered. So, so this is a design window and this is what the, the published um, site looks like, right? And this is actually live. I don't know how long I'll keep it up in case you're looking because I, the, the template is pretty big and I didn't edit most of it. Uh, but if you were to go to it right now, you could see it. So this is what it looks like right now. Um, this is a picture of mine from, uh, I used to be a photographer, so this is a shot I did um, for Mary Claire a number of years ago. Um, so it's really beautiful, but I'm gonna switch it, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna put instead my profile picture here, uh, like what we did before, my profile picture for my three box profile. And then this bar here, I really love, I, I bought this profile, but a template because I really love this bar here. This feels like a real like great tool to become like a web three like tool for this site. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this button instead of buy template, we're gonna turn this into uh, enable MetaMask. This, I'm gonna put my address right here. I'm gonna put my ETH balance here, the, the network that I'm connected to and provider. So starting right now, you can probably time me on this, but so I'm gonna just click on this image. I go over to the ID, I do web three box profile image. And uh, the way it was set up before, I was sort of matching that string fully. Now it's actually matching my part. So we'll be able to like structure things. It'll be web three, then it'll be three box. Then there'll be like all the different uh, options that you can do from three box. Right now it's just limited to three things. I didn't build more features in the past 36 hours. I just was trying to like clean up the code so it wasn't so fragile. So we go down here. This is where I'm gonna want my web three address, web three address. I think it's address, yeah. Right here, I'm gonna want my uh, balance, so Web3 balance. Then over here for network, I'm going to do uh, Web3 network name, I think. I think it's network name. And provider, Web3 dash, okay, provider name, right? That's all we do. If you saw the last video, I'm still just doing the same thing, just showing you how much more beautiful it could actually be if I wasn't designing it. So I don't want anybody to lose anyone on the fact that it looked really ugly. So I click to publish, publish successfully. I refresh the page over here and boom, I've got my uh, three box profile here. I have my Ethereum address. I have my balance. I have my network, my MetaMask thing. 
my template thing isn't uh, proper, so maybe I messed up. Oh, you know, I didn't say the name. So web three um, enable button. I didn't do the enable button, right? So we see it missing here, the by template here. So I just add it, publish again. And now I have turned, as soon as it's finished publishing, and now I've turned my button into a Web3 uh, connection. So if, if I wasn't already connected to Ethereum, it would say um, connect. Actually, you know what? Let me show you that. I'll just go in and I am going to, what am I going to do? Connections. I'm just going to disconnect that. You see it instantly disconnects my um, values over there. I'll refresh it. Now I'm back to the image, right? So this, this would be your website if you came to it and you didn't have Web3 at all, right? So where you get to use the same styling that you've been styling with, which is, I mean, for me, it's incredible. Then you click the MetaMask button. Of course, it pops up, connects it, bam, goes through there. I think I have to refresh to get the balance to show up. Uh, but yeah, seconds, seconds to make what looks pretty great, right? And the cool thing is, let's, uh, so let's go into the inspect, and then it's just like change the, the format, right? So this is what it would look like an eye on, oh, let me close that, uh, maybe make a little bit of space, right? So you can see that it also, um, because it's Webflow and it's getting to be responsive and you have full control over that, you know already what it's gonna look like if you're gonna be using another device. So um, you can make your, your mobile version mobile first, or, I mean, whatever, just so quickly. And that I think is gonna be really powerful. So um, if, if, you, if you sort of enjoy this, just you know, let me know. I'm, I'm always kind of like working on it. Uh, it's kind of like a side project. Probably next weekend I'll, I'll hack on it a bit more. Next steps are to put a lot of tests in there because it needs sort of tests. Uh, there's no tests right now. So yeah, DAP Hero, Ethereum Joint 2020. Let's get 1 million devs on Ethereum. I think we're really gonna bring them if we bring them tools that they already know and know how to use. Uh, and that is really what Dapiro is about. So, thanks.